Alright, so you have all been wanting me to take a look at this uh, Unify phone for quite a while and I've had them and I thought I would I would go ahead and we would just do a real quick rundown. I will give you the information so you can make your own decision because as always your mileage may vary. So here's the handset. It's pretty ergonomic. It feels good in the hand. There's a mute button right here. So if you're on the phone and you want to mute, you can just roll your finger right on that mute button. So that that's nice. Uh, the, the cord is manufactured directly into the handset and into the side of the phone. You cannot, without taking this phone apart, voiding your warranty and who knows what else, you cannot replace the handset cord. So uh, real quick while I've got that off hook, let's take a look at the back. So you can see it's got the Unify logo. We've got the primary, secondary ports. And then on the side you have the, um, the uh, USB and the headphone jack. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to put uh, some power to this real quick. All right, got uh, power there. Head power. There it goes. So, this phone runs an older version of Android. It doesn't run a newer version. Uh, and this has even been upgraded, I believe. Uh, there is, if you're in the beta forum, there is a link to a newer version of the software. And I I don't know if this 4.8, I don't know, one of the phones that I have has been upgraded, but it is still a very old version of, of Android. Um, and on top of that, you will see, once this loads, that there is no way to lock down this version of Android that they're using. It is basically... Um, a, a uh, it's basically an Android phone with the Unify phone app on it. So you've got full access to the Play Store. You can download apps. That phone just booted. Uh, but you can see I've got YouTube on this one. I don't have anything else installed, but it looks just like your standard Android phone. Um, so now our phone app is going to start. Now, you can install, um, you know, the Unify video controller and provision these phones. But we're just going to do a quick setup here. We're not going to do a provision. We're going to do a we're going to do a manual setup. So we're going to go to SIP service and SIP accounts. We're going to add an account. and server. screen here and we are we are registered so it was fairly easy to um, set up but let me grab another phone and we'll make a phone call and call, see uh, what this looks like 5,000 so I can hear it
Thank you for calling Willie Howe with H5 Technology. I'm not available at the moment. Please leave a message and your name and a number where you can be reached, and it will call you back as soon as possible. So we could have left a, uh, a message for me. Uh, looks like there's some updates happening here. So yeah, like I said, this thing is a full, a full featured. Um, uh, we had do not disturb on. Um, oops. Um, this thing is a full featured uh, Android phone. Um, all right, so let's try calling it again. So you can see that it's the cordless phone calling, and um, we can either um, decline the call or we can answer. Now, what's weird is it only rang one time. That could be a that could be a setting. So. Um, I'm going to decline the call and we don't have, I don't have voicemail uh, actually enabled for this extension so let me, I don't think I do. Comedian mail, oh. mailbox. I uh, know I don't have it. Uh, so let me go set up uh, voicemail real quick for this and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got voicemail set up on here, so let's hit the button. Comedian mail, mailbox. Uh, let's see here. Login. Let's see, is it? You have no messages. Press two to change folder. Oh, that's my slip there. We just need to change that real quick to star 97 okay okay all right so now real quick if we hit voicemail you have no messages press 2 to change folders okay. press 3 for all right so Let's call it again, and uh, let's leave a message. So we'll unlock our phone here, and we'll call. We're going to decline it. It's a test voicemail. Just a test voicemail. All right, so I left a voicemail. And you can see that the uh, little indicator for voicemail um, popped up up there so um, and you can see that the phone down here is uh, this little light down here is like pulsing so let's hit the voicemail button you have one new message press the first message received at 12 53 p.m. This is just a test voicemail. Just a test voicemail. Message deleted. Press 3 for advanced options. So that's it. And uh, you can hear my other phone uh, blowing up in there. But that's it. So it's relatively easy to set up... It's relatively easy to set up this Ubiquiti phone. So it does roll... It runs an old version of Android. There's no way to lock down the user interface um, so that you cannot install things. I mean, look, here's the full full App Store, but there's no policies or anything like that. It's got a nice looking handset, but you can't replace the cord. It is gigabit, and it does have that pass through. So that's it. You can make your own decision about this phone. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing another video on a, on a phone, on another Android-based phone that's based on a newer version of Android and that has all the policies and governance and things like that, which is that GXV3370. But, um, you know, that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.